Now, for more on this, the uh, delegation head of the Turkish Red Crescent in Pakistan, Ibrahim Carlos Camilo, joins us live from Islamabad. Welcome to the program. Um, tell us what help is the Turkish Red Crescent in Pakistan providing right now and what are your priorities? Maria Ramos, thank you very much for having us. Uh, as you may know, we as a Turkish Red Crescent, we're trying to support the relief operation in Pakistan with not food items deploying uh, to the affected areas in Balochistan as well. Uh, as you may know, in these cases, when the water level comes down, the dengue and the malaria cases are going to be high. For this reason, for this reason we are planning to deploy free medical camps as well with the medicine. And how does it compare to anything that you have seen uh, before, Ibrahim? We heard also Pakistan's climate minister saying that she's never seen so many monsoon uh, cycles in a year before, that this is unprecedented. So what does that mean for, for your work? Exactly. Uh, as it's been in history in Pakistan in 2012 floods, uh, it's a huge challenge now because the water levels, for example, in Pakistan increased to 500 percent that before in seen we increased increase it on 800 percent the levels of water rain that have been affected has been the infrastructure damage is a huge challenge for us to reach out to the floor areas to continue or or relief uh, response as well. And it's it's a huge calamity at the moment. And we've just seen there just, you know, images as you're speaking of a hotel collapsing there in a SWAT uh, in, in Pakistan. Um, and what are you going to do there? Because what, when we're seeing this again right now on your screens, um, the rains have been affecting Pakistan since June. How do you keep going? How do you keep providing the stock and helping people? Now, we, in collaboration with the Pakistan Recreation Society, we have warehouses in different areas. We have warehouses in Sindh, in Karachi. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, areas in Haripur as well that we are deploying the new food items, stands uh, as, as well. Uh, six uh, water filtration plants has been deployed to Balochistan, Sindh, and KPK areas for, for uh, allow the people to uh, get the uh, drinkable water. As well, as I said, the uh, not food items being released. We have the stock. We're trying to uh, deliver them as soon as possible. As I said, the infrastructure has been damaged and to reach out to the people uh, is quite difficult at the moment. It's a huge challenge for us. The government is doing their best to try to, to send and to move the relief items with uh, helicopters as well, but as well in trying to uh, rescue them and to bring to that settled camp the government has uh, arranged already. And still as I but we need in, in Pakistan need a lot of support at the moment. International community should be coming as well. We're trying to do our best, as I say, that's a terrific question, and we'll be doing more as well with the support of the host national society, Pakistan Red Crescent, and with the support of the International Federation for Red Cross and Red Crescent too. Well, Ibrahim, we wish you the best of luck to you and your team. That was uh, Ibrahim Carlos Camilo, the uh, delegation head of the Turkish Red Crescent in Pakistan. Thank you so much.